Hey, Jim, on the podcast, can you please educate some of these social media trolls on why certain gimmicks only work in indie promotions and not the big leagues? Because it appears that a lot of these smarks do not understand how to separate the wrestler from his persona and assume that if a persona is viewed as bad, that it might not necessarily reflect the talent portraying that character. And he uh, he provided a link to something that someone Twittered, and the, this is the quote of the Twitter if you ever take Jim Cornette seriously, watch every Sami Zayn match. Uh, watch every match Sami Zayn has had on these NXT specials. Then remember, JC saw nothing in him. And Chris goes on to say, with comments like this, clearly there are a lot out there that don't get it, you think? Because to me, he says, that's a load of shit. El Generico was a bad gimmick that worked on the indies and was never going to have mass appeal. That does not mean Rami Sabai, the guy portraying El Generico, is bad or that you viewed his abilities as bad. It just means his shtick, which was originally created as a joke, was never going to draw money beyond 400 people in a rec center, which is why WWE rebranded him as Sami Zayn, a persona with the potential to draw money and not be seen as some parody of lucha wrestling or whatever the idea behind El Generico originally began as. Please, please educate these uneducated masses, these, these IWC smarks. Now, IWC was a fine wrestling promotion in the Pittsburgh area, so... <laughs> But well, it looks like, sadly, the, 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 the acronym uh, IWC has been sullied. It's been sullied. Here, and once again, you actually, the, Chris actually got it. I never said that Rami Sabai, the guy portraying El Generico, was a shitty worker. I didn't see anything in him, didn't want to use him, whatever. I've actually been on record a number of times saying I've watched this guy have incredible matches, matches, hand-to-hand -hand matches where they didn't have ladders and tables and furniture and 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 bullshit etc i told i told everybody he sold like ricky morton and the higher compliment i cannot give i don't know about anybody else i've told everybody that he was incredibly strong for his frame that he did some really incredible power stuff for a guy that of that size and that his work was excellent but he had a stupid fucking gimmick that was never gonna and go wasn't it your idea to actually have him do promos and take off the mask well well, actually, here's the thing. I never even suggested to him in Ring of Honor that he take the mask off because I knew he would have looked at me like I just sodomized his mother on Main Street if I'd have done that. But what I said was, if you're going to be a top baby face, if you're going to be a top baby face in a television promotion, you have to be able to cut promos. You have to be able to talk. And I also said that I do not understand, nor would anybody else understand, the El Generico gimmick because here is a pale red-headed and actually he's a muslim from from montreal so he's a french canadian muslim ginger french canadian muslim um that pretends to be a mexican wrestler the whole thing didn't work on a mainstream basis yes in the private club of indie wrestling fans the 400 people in a rec center would get it but nobody else was going to get it and especially in a wrestling promotion that was trying at the time which ring of honor was and if it had more backing from Sinclair Broadcasting, might have succeeded, but that's neither here nor there, to trying to be taken seriously as an athletic, competitive, real sport pro wrestling promotion rather than a bunch of entertainment hoo-ha. And uh, son of a gun, wouldn't you know who won the pony? What's the first thing that fucking happened? When the WWE signs him, I have a feeling because he speaks a few languages and because he is of that faith and, and also because he is a tremendous worker, they took the fucking mask and the gimmick off of him, and they had him start cutting promos. How can you have a mute top baby face on a, in a television promotion, and how can you have something that nobody is going to get except for the people, limited though they are, that are already with the joke and view wrestling as basically a, a show to uh, enjoy for the work rate of the competitors rather than mainstream pro wrestling fans? That's what I was trying to say. Chris got it. A lot of people don't. And once again, wouldn't you know, we haven't seen what Steen is going to do yet, but I have a feeling when we see him, he'll be thinner, and he'll probably have his beard and his hair trimmed like he's not a homeless person, and he probably won't be wearing baggy-ass bike shorts because that's what I told him he needed to do. And it seems like every time the WWE signs some of these people and is intends to put them on national, international, worldwide television – they do the same shit that I told them they needed to do to get over. I don't know. It's such a coincidence. I'm so confused.